Above all, baseball is a lonely game. No matter the whims of the moment, a man is terribly alone when he goes up there. Carl Yastrzemski could tell you all about that. There will be no quibbling about the quality of the 3,000th hit. It came on his 13th attempt to get it. There goes the ground ball. Base hit. Number 3,000. Yastrzemski's got it. And all hell breaks loose at Fenway Park. Survival is its own reward, especially in the Darwinian little world of baseball. In that sense, the end of this outrageous melodrama was quite perfect. Ultimately, the achievement was a triumph of the will over the limits of mere skill. And that really is what Yastrzemski's entire career has been all about. He has done what he's done because he desperately wanted and needed to do it. It has not been the casual expression of a birthright, as it's been for so many of the greats. You are struck by the enormity of his relief and how suddenly he looked all of 40 years of age. No god like Williams or Cobb or Ruth, just an ordinary man with solid ability who had his flaws and corrected them and who made mistakes and redeemed them and who above all knew how to tough it out and survive. First of all, you dream you want to be a major league ball player. Then you dream about the things you could do in the big leagues. In your wildest dreams, you couldn't imagine hitting 400 home runs with 3,000 hits. It's incredible. And uh, just just to watch what's going on here in the last couple of days has been sort of, uh, I guess, a World Series atmosphere in here. This could be, other than for the 75 series, the most exciting moment I've ever seen in baseball. Is that right? Ever. Because not only the base hit, the base hit was, you know, sort of... Uh, in retrospect, it wasn't anything spectacular, but <clears throat> just to sit back and think about what it's going to, what it takes to get 3,000 hits or to hit 400 home runs or to play for 19 years, uh, it shows you the type of physical being he is, and more, even more so, the type of mental approach and mental being he has to be to play the game so consistently for so many years, and uh, he's just been an inspiration to all of us. A comedian later said that Carl thanked everybody but Jim Beatty and Willie Randolph, which is true, and he did so with great feeling, ending with this most touching moment. I like to have two people here tonight who want, who are probably my biggest boosters, my mother and Mr. Yorkie. They deserve to be here. I try to do Later in a fine gesture, he paid tribute to Coach Walt Riniak, perhaps the least celebrated of his colleagues. He gave Riniak a watch in appreciation for Walt's countless hours of help and encouragement. And then he summed himself up and very well. I haven't had the greatest ability in the world uh, as a uh, big, strong guy. I had to work hard for everything that I've accomplished. I made nine million adjustments, nine million changes uh, in my batting stance during 19 years. Uh, I worked hard during the winter times. I paid the price and uh, God gave me a tremendous incentive and a tremendous body to excel and a desire inside of you that you can't explain. Uh, just something inside of me uh, that never lets up and never gives up. Uh, without that, uh, I don't know how far I would have gone. So there ends the Yaz watch. It was a pure baseball story. It had its silly moments and it had its lovely moments. And with its intense focus on the celebration of an individual, it was a Red Sox tale for all the ages. Sentimentalists will keep it well and remember it as a fine tribute to the quality of daring and of being above all relentless for its own sake. This is Clark Booth, Sports 5. I was just as happy about putting us ahead as I was getting 400. The uh, main thing was that I wanted to hit, and hit it here in Boston in front of the Boston fans. Some accomplishments that I've had this year, it's been on the road. I just hope 3,000 is here at home, God willing. All the personal goals are great. Uh, I'll probably cherish them more when I retire. The one goal right now, which I want more than 
the 400 home runs, the 3,000 hits, and that's to win a World Series. Under the conditions we've had, you know, with Jerry out and and uh, you know the way it's been, it's kind of forced to come.